Today, our community is grieving the tragic death of a Doherty High School student. The teen died after being struck by a car in the crosswalk on the way to class this morning. It is the third time a student has been hit by a car at the intersection of Barnes and Austin Bluffs. Carity on News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live at Doherty High School to explain how the community is responding tonight. Annabelle. Doherty High School is quiet tonight as the community mourns the loss of one of their own. But a few tributes are starting to go up for that student with these flowers being taped to the light poles at the intersection where it happened. Just pay attention. No destination is more important than a person's life. Sally Anderson lost her son Caleb just a few months ago. A driver sped to turn um, to beat the light. Caleb Anderson was hit while crossing the street and declared brain dead at the hospital soon after. So when Sally heard news of the deadly pedestrian crash involving a Doherty High School student this morning, she immediately thought about the teen's family. It's going to be a long journey for them and I, my heart just breaks for them. Colorado Springs police receive reports of an auto versus pedestrian crash at around 745 this morning. When officers got to Doherty High School, they saw a Jeep stopped in the middle of the road. The uh, preliminary information uh, suggests that the pedestrian was uh, in the crosswalk and that the driver of the Jeep uh, failed to stop for the red light. That's when police say the student was hit. Police quickly confirmed that the student was dead. This is incredibly heartbreaking and it's a very difficult situation anytime um, a student passes and so our hearts are with the families. District 11 canceled classes for the rest of the day, but students are set to come back to class tomorrow with extra support provided by the district. We brought in our crisis counseling team. And support is exactly what Sally Anderson says everyone involved needs most. Just reach out and let people help you. That's the best recommendation I can give. Two other Doherty High School students were also hit at this crosswalk last semester, and now parents here are urging the city to step up and enforce reduced speed limits here and install more signage. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Annabelle Childers, KRDO News Channel 13.